Hi, my name is Ashok and today we are going to see how the workflow is going to work in SAP by design. Let's go to the work center application and user management and select workflow rules. Based on the selection of workflow rules, you'll be able to see an option to edit, view, new, copy, delete. Click on new, you'll be able to see certain steps to be followed. As you could see, there is a description, business object and a timing. Select the description as per your requirement. I'll just give it a test. The score one. And the business object which I'm going to use today is sales order. You can choose as per your requirement of your business. And the timing is on every create only or on every save. So let me take it as on every save. And you can click on next. Once you click on next, you will have an option to add groups. Groups are nothing but you can segregate it according to the selection field. The field will be on based on ABC classification amount or whatever selection you require. As of now, I'll take it as a delivery block. I'm going to filter the orders which are blocked for delivery. I'm going to send an intimation email. So compare operator. So click on the drop down and select equal to. And the value will be blocked. There are other options like block, not block, partially blocked. You can select any any of these based on your field selection and your business needs. Once you have selected this, click on OK and click on Next. So here you can define the rule type based on your business requirement again. Select the subject line and the condition and everything over here. Once you have done with this, you can add the determination, recipient determination and the employee. Once everything is set, you can click on next. As I have not selected the notification, as I have already defined as such a rule, so I am just going to take you to that particular screen. Based, based on your completion of all the selection field, click on next and click on activate and finish. So the rule will be activated. Let me take you to the rule which I have already saved. I am just clicking on edit to show you what on all fields I have selected. So here the description I have just given a test and the business object is for the sales order and timing is on every save. So every orders which are saved will have a triggered email which will be sent to the particular person. So when I go to the next step, I have set the same rule for the delivery block. This rule, this group, what happens, it will filter those sales order which are blocked for delivery. So here the rule type is email. There are two rules which we can define here. Either you can create a notification or you can create an email. So I have chosen email. The basically the template file should be in HTML. If you are comfortable in HTML, you can go ahead with creating an HTML file. Or you can ask your technical team to create an HTML file based on your business requirement. For example, I am going to show you how I have created the HTML file. I have just opened a uh, notepad and I have just created a normal HTML document for delivery block. 
if you could see i have just incorporated the html and the heading and the title and i open the title as document block for delivery and title i have closed it after which the head, heading comes the body comes and the paragraph starts and all those things all this the technical team can help you in this if you are good at html you can write that program by yourself once when you have done that save that notepad file as html so you will be able to see like uh, like this icon a browser icon when you open it you will see the content whatever it is there whatever you have created so once when that is done you just have to browse click or click the browse option and you have to add that html file in the template so as i've already added that i have just activated it as well and i finished all this activity i'm going to show how this workflow works so now i'll go to the sales order screen from where i can copy an existing order for a quick reference to show you how this workflow email is getting triggered to the concerned person so basically workflow is used to intimate the concerned person on certain information of the business needs now i'll just copy an existing uh, existing sales order which is already having a delivery block so i'm just going to click on save so i'll show you the delivery block in this particular order by going to view all once when i click on view all you will be able to see the delivery block option which will show for what particular reason this order has been blocked if you could see a small pop up has come the do document block for delivery so it has been highlighted can you see the delivery block option it is for the credit limit so this concerned customer has exceeded his limit so the delivery has been blocked right now i have set the workflow on save if i if i save this particular order an email should trigger to the particular customer or employee so let me save it and let me take you to the email here the order has been saved successfully and the document is still blocked for delivery if you could see i got an email intimation of this particular order let me take you to the email can you see i have got an email doc delivery blocked if i go in i could see delivery block due to non payment so i have just maintained certain notes in the body accordingly it will display in that particular email so by this you can add the particular content to the employee or the customer in whichever way your business is in need of you can customize according to that you can set the workflow so basically workflow is set based on certain rules If you are familiar with that rules, you can set accordingly. So thank you for watching my video, and hope to see you in the next video with a new information about SAP by Design.